Thanks a lot. But then I heard Don's poem and I thought, you listened intently to it, but it's a significant part of English literature. And maybe it was his English accent that you couldn't get the full understanding of the poem. So I was wondering if there's anybody with a local accent that knows that poem. Is there anybody with a local John. accent that knows the poem? You think you know it? Oh, <laughs> Uh, Don, we're going to translate it in time. So. <laughs> now, Judy, um, the problem was I, I, I was singing earlier with the uh, the songbird of Pitt Lawfrey. <laughs> voice and obviously I don't have the same accent uh, that, that would help people understand the poem fully. So I was wondering, I know the hand actions if you know the poem. Uh, 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 <laughs> do that. Um, if, if you just stand here, uh, we, can, we, can, we can see if we, we can do it. <laughs> by J. Milton Hayes. <laughs> There's a one-eyed yellow idol to the north. North! Kathmandu. <laughs> There's a little marble cross below the town. There's a broken-hearted woman tends the grave of mad Karoo. <laughs> little God forever gazes down. <laughs> he was known as Mad Crew by the subs at Kathmandu. He was better than they felt inclined to tell. But for all his foolish pranks, he was worshipped in the ranks. And the colonel's daughter. <laughs> he had loved her all along with the passion of the strong. <laughs> was plain to all. She was nearly 21. And arrangements had been 21. And arrangements had begun to celebrate her birthday with the ball. dismissed a squad. Jestingly, <laughs> <laughs> she told him that nothing else would do but the green eye of the little yellow god. On the night before the dance, Mad Peru was in a trance. They chaffed him as they puffed their cigars. <laughs> <laughs> Once he failed to smile and he sat alone a while, then went out into the night beneath the stars. He returned before the dawn with his shirt and tunic torn. <laughs> <laughs> and the gash across his temple dripping red. He was patched up right away and he slept through all the day. And the Colonel's daughter watched beside his bed. He awoke at last and asked if they would send his tunic through. She brought it, and he thanked her with a nod. He bade her search the pocket, saying, that's from Mad Peru. And she found the little green eye of the god. <laughs> i 
painfully hot and wet. <laughs> he wouldn't take the stone. And Peru was left alone with the jewel that he chanced his life to get. When the ball was at its height. <laughs> and that still and tropic night, she thought of him and hastened to his room. <laughs> As she crossed the barrack square, she could hear the dreamy air of a waltz tune. So, <laughs> waltz tune, <laughs> softly stealing. <laughs> his door was open wide, with silver moonlight shining through. The floor was wet and slippery where she trod. An ugly knife lay buried in the heart. Oh! That grew twas the vengeance of the little yellow god. There's a one-eyed yellow idol to the north of Catman. There's a little marble cross below the town. There's a broken-hearted woman tends the grave of Mad Carew. And the little god forever gazes down. <laughs>